so obviously the IRS needs to have the name and the address. I need an address too. As well as the identification number, the social security number on the tax return. So you got to print or type the information in the space provided, top of the form 1040. Typically, if you are married, filing a separate return. Yeah, and maybe I'll file a federal income tax return. Enter your spouse's name in the entry space below the filing status checkbox instead of below your name. So remember, we talked about the filing statuses before. We've got the single, we've got the head of household, we've got the married, married filing separate. So if you're married filing joint, then of course there's going to be a space for the two spouses involved and the related social security numbers see social security number if you're filing married filing separate then the iris still wants an indication of your spouse so that they could basically check on the other side seeing if the spouse then filed a tax return and you would think that they would be claiming as well married filing separate if you filed married filing separate indicated who your spouse was and the spouse filed married or something other than married filing separate you would think that uh, that would cause problems on the irs side you would think that their machine would automatically be able to kind of pick that kind of problem up tip if you filed a joint return for 2021 and you are filing a joint return for 2022 with the same spouse be sure to enter your names and social security numbers in the same order as your 2021 return a return an income tax return so in other words generally if you're a married filing joint you're gonna have the first line and then basically the second line so it's gonna be the the one spouse and then the second spouse traditionally that would of course be the husband uh, and then the wife oftentimes but you could put it a uh, reverse on the form 1040 if you flip the order meaning you have the husband and then the wife and then you have the wife and then the husband and the following year not technically wrong to do that but it could confuse the irs when they're trying to compare uh, one year to another year oftentimes they're doing that basically with an automated kind of system so you can throw kind of like the machine off which you would think would be trying to compare the same line to the same line.